Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a computer mock-up for your online programs. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new videos every single week to help you grow your online business. So if you're looking to do that, make sure that you hit subscribe. So why should you create a computer mock-up? It's because you can give people a real tangible sense of what it is that they will be purchasing and you can also give them some insight into what to expect from your program. Plus, a sales page with just text is going to be nowhere near as effective as one with images. So, let me show you how to create a mock-up. All right, so first, let me explain what I mean by computer graphic. This is my sales page for my online program website that wows. And this is a mock-up here, which gives you a visual representation of the program itself and shows you some behind the scenes screenshots as well. So that's what I mean. And that's what I'm going to show you how to create right now. So the first thing that you need to do is actually log in to your online program and take a screenshot. So this is the behind the scenes shot that I want to use. So because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hit command shift and then the number four, and it's going to change my mouse. See how it just changed it to now it's a cross. So all I need to do is go up to the left corner here, and then I'm going to drag my mouse down all the way on top of my screen here. And then I'm going to let go. It's going to create that camera sound and then you will find that screenshot on your desktop. So here we go. That is the screenshot. Awesome. So you can do that. You can also, you can take a few screenshots of your program. So for example, I could click in on one of the lessons and then I can, you know, make my screen look exactly how I want it to. And once again, take a screenshot. Now, if you are on a PC, there is a print screen button that you can press. All right, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that as well. And now I'm going to create my mock-up. So in order to do this, this is, um, of course, this is a really easy way, and this is for people that are not designers. So I'm not using Photoshop, I'm actually going to use Canva. So we're going to go into Canva, which if you haven't used it before is a free program and it is awesome. So you're going to go to canva.com and then you're going to need to sign up for an account. Once you are logged in, this is what you will see. You can just click use custom dimensions and type in 1000 by 1000 PX and click design. All right, so you are going to love how easy this is. You're going to go over here to the search bar on the left and just type in laptop mockup. Okay, and you'll see all these different options come up. I would actually hit this little arrow here and then change that to free only. And what you're looking for is a um, mockup of a computer and specifically one that has this grass like this and this sky background with a cloud. So I'm going to click on that there and that is going to fill the space. Then I'm going to go over to uploads. I'm going to click upload your own images and I'm going to upload those two screenshots that we just took. All right, great. So once they're uploaded, all you need to do is click on the screenshot and you're going to hold down your mouse and then you're going to drag it on top of the laptop. And as you can see, it's going to automatically fill the background. Awesome. So then what you need to do is click crop and then you can adjust this so that, you know, it's not cutting off anything that you want to be visible and then click the check mark. And there you go. So there is your first mockup. Now you can also do what I did and you can use a few of these or you'll see that people also make use of iPads and phones as well to make this an even more complete image. 
So let's just try with computers first. So what I could do is I could click on this image and I could make it a bit smaller. And then I can click copy to make a second copy. And now I can grab that other screenshot that we took and drag it on top of this computer. Click crop again to move that around. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then, you know, what I would recommend doing is probably taking a third screenshot. Um, but for now, we'll just copy this and we will use that first screenshot again. All right, crop it into place. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to arrange these. I normally like to do two behind of the main screen. So let's say we do that going to click on this one and if you just hit arrange and then you click back you can move it to the very back and again with this front one I'm going to click on it arrange and then click back twice all right so of course you know feel free you can move these around but this is how I created that image that you saw on my sales page so I would probably highlight them all make them all a bit smaller and uh, make it so you can you know see more of the back ones as well so that's one way that people do it another way to do it is as I said add in your iPhone or iPad mock-ups so I'm going to delete those back to and I'm going to go back over to my search bar and this time type in phone mock-up all right and if you scroll down you'll see that we have a few here again make sure that you find graphics that have that sky background so let's say I wanted to use this one would go over here and try and make it the right size you know how big a phone would be in proportion to your computer um, then I'm going to change the background color which I can do just by hitting this color panel there just make that black for now all right go back to my uploads go to my screenshot drag it on top of the phone so you can see it's filled there now I can crop it into position let's say I just wanted to highlight my video I can do that click the check mark and there you go there is your mock-up so now in order to add this to your sales page you're going to click download now, if you're on the free plan of Canva, you will not be able to download with a transparent background. This is one of the reasons that I recommend Canva for work. I'll leave a link above to my video on all of the reasons why I recommend upgrading to this program. Um, so what a transparent background does is it allows you to put this graphic on top of any other background you may have. So if you don't have this in place, that is okay. You just need to make sure that you match the background color to wherever you will be placing it on your website. This is what it looks like when you download with a transparent background. As you can see, there's nothing, there's no color around here. So if we go back to my example, you'll see that this graphic that I created here is actually on top of a gray background. So I would need to make sure that my background here matches that gray exactly. Okay, and the way I would change that is I would go over to background and then if I had the exact color code, I can just click on the plus sign and then I can add that here. So let's say it was that shade of gray. There we go, I can just add that in and then download as a PNG and it won't matter that I don't check mark that. All right, so that's just <laughs> Went off on a little tangent there for a second, but that is important because you don't want to be placing this on your pages with the background around it. It won't look as professional. So just make sure to match that up. But this is a very easy way to create your computer mock-up for your online program. And I hope that it really helps you with your sales pages. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. If you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments below and I will get back to you. And if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with another video.